What is up guys? It is the Redstone Scientist here and today I have a Wesley Command Challenge for you. A lot of you have been asking how you can help out with Wesley. Well, today is your chance. So I could do this myself, but I want you to guys to try this in the fewest number of commands with the lowest performance hit possible. And uh, whoever has the best system will win. There's no prize or anything other than getting your thing in the map and you'll be credited, of course. Uh, and of course I will make a video showcasing the best system. So, a uh, few things. It must work in 1.12, and you are allowed to use 1.12 mechanics if you want, but you don't have to. And it must work for any number of entities simultaneously. And we'll return to this at the end. So, let's just start off with the three main objectives. And you can use more if you want, but these are the three main ones, okay? We have target, current, and cycle time. I'm going to talk a little bit about each of these, and then I'll go over what the goal of the system is. So, the target in... I should note that when an entity score is at rest, target equals negative 1. Current can be between 0 and 8 inclusive. And cycle time represents the number of ticks before the next step up or down. Now, that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, so let's talk about the goal. Okay? The goal is to be able to set an entity's target score to a number between 0 and 8. Then, every cycle time number of ticks, the entity's score will advance one closer to the target until it arrives. At that point, the entity's target score will reset to negative 1. Now, it's a lot to take in, so uh, take a look at these next three examples. And I really hope you look at all three examples before trying the system yourself, uh, just so you can know what I'm looking for. So, example number one. Bob has the following scores. Current equals 4, target equals negative 1, cycle time equals 5. Now, I'm going to set Bob's target score to 7, which triggers this process. That activates, the, that activates this process. So, in the very next tick, Bob's current score will change from 4 to 5. Now, because Bob's cycle time is 5, 5 ticks later, Bob's current score will change from 5 to 6. Another 5 ticks later, Bob's current score will change from 6 to 7. So now we've reached the target, and now Bob's target score will reset to negative 1, and everything is all done. Let's look at example number 2. So in example number two, Jill has the following scores. Current equals six, target equals negative one, cycle time equals one. Now I'm going to set Jill's target score to zero. Now on the very next tick, Jill's current score will change from six to five. Now because Jill's cycle time is one, then one tick later, Jill's current score will change from five to four. One tick later, Jill's current score will change from 4 to 3, and then another tick later, 3 to 2, and then 2 to 1, and finally 1 to 0, where we have reached the target, so Jill's target score will reset to negative 1. And finally, let's look at example number 3 with Kathy. So Kathy's current scores are current equals 2, target equals negative 1, cycle time equals 3. Now I'm going to set Kathy's target score to 2, but because Kathy's current score is already 2, her target so score will immediately be reset to negative 1 and nothing will happen because we're already there. Now you may have noticed that regardless of what the cycle time is, that first step, so if we have a target of uh, 5 and we're already at 6, or rather if we have a target of 4 and we're at 6, then on tick number 1, on the very first tick, we're going to make that first step. Uh, to 5. And then cycle time ticks later, we'll do the next step, and cycle time ticks later, we'll do the next step, if that makes any sense. If you have any questions, ask in the description. So just to review, we want to do this in the fewest number of commands possible, with the lowest performance hit possible. It must work in 1.12. You're allowed to use 1.12 mechanics if you want, but you don't have to. And it must work for any number of entities simultaneously. So that means that they have to work independent of each other. So I could have Bob I, all three of these examples should be able to happen all at once if I wanted to. Okay, so it's technically should be pretty easy in terms of scoreboard. It's just going to be a challenge of how can you do it with the fewest number of commands possible. Uh, so hopefully you guys are able to run with this. Hopefully we get some great submissions. The way you can submit, you can uh, post a paste bin link to a command installation or just a bunch of commands, or you can make a video, whatever you want. Just post the link in the comments section. It'll mark it as spam automatically, but I'll make sure to uh, approve all the links uh, as I read them. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you all next time.